We introduce a tool for artistic manipulation of perspective through image warps. Our tool allows the user to control perspective in a photograph by placing constraints on its vanishing points and lines and other image space features. We demonstrate our tool by giving this image more sharply converging vanishing lines like you might see in a wide angle perspective image. We use the planar polygon tool to outline the two roughly planar regions on the right and left walls, but they don't have to correspond to perfectly planar scene geometry for our system to work. We adjust the edges of the polygons to line up with the vanishing lines of the walls. We switch to vanishing point mode and add vanishing points for each of the planes by clicking on edges that are parallel in the scene. The program automatically computes their intersection, showing the current locations of the vanishing points. One of the vanishing points is outside the window, so we can just zoom out and grab it, and we can move it closer to the center of the image, like you'd get with a wide-angle photo. We move the other vanishing point inward as well. We zoom back in and pin a couple of spots in the image with fixed point constraints, which prevents the entire mesh from scaling down to a single point. We run the optimization and get this result, but the left and right boundaries move more than we'd like, so we constrain them not to move horizontally with the border constraint, and run the optimization once more. The result looks pretty good, but some of the lines at the bottom of the image are bent. We can fix this problem using the line constraint. We switch back into the input view and click on the endpoints of a few line segments that should stay straight. Running our optimization again, we obtain a good result. It has irregularly shaped boundaries, which we crop to a rectangle. Flipping back and forward between the input and output, we see how the result has a stronger perspective effect, with more sharply converging lines. It also makes the room feel more tightly enclosing than in the original photo. We can modify the constraints and move the vanishing points further out so the image looks more telephoto. The room also looks more spacious. Here are some more results. In this example, we make the building look more like an oblique projection, where all the parallel edges of the building are parallel in the picture. In this compositing example, we segment a train out of one image and warp it so its vanishing lines match the tracks in the target image.